Like, for example, um, we have the idea that there was no resurrection. Well, a Christian group, the Ebionites, who believed Jesus was a man, celebrated the resurrection. The Nazarenes celebrated the resurrection. The Ebionites believed that Jesus was not born of a virgin. You see, you think sometimes we're weird and you guys are sensible. Well, to say that Jesus was born of a natural relation between a man and a woman, that's the most normal thing, and the Ebionites thought that, but the Muslims don't. So what's your point? So my point is that um, when you look at it one way or the other, the most Islam's view of Jesus is the most unlikely one. Our view that he was God and rose from the dead is in the realm of the supernatural. So, you know, that requires a leap of faith. But our view that he was crucified and that he believed that in a special way he was the son of God, as described in Daniel, one could say as an as a, as a atheist, he was deluded, but the, that he believed he was the son of God is really, really likely. And Bart Herman believes that. Yeah? Okay, well, uh, I mean... Uh... But remember, remember this, that the early followers of Jesus, those who called themselves Christians, no matter what they said or thought, whether they were Catholic or not, they always said he was crucified and rose from the dead and was the son of God and was God Almighty. And it always, when they say God, it was a range, a God being, super divine being, or God Almighty as we Catholics say, but never just a man. That was the mainstream. This was drawn... If, there were, if, the Muslim, if Jesus was a Muslim and the apostles were Muslims, then you would have had documents which gave an Islamic version of Jesus. But there's nothing in the documentary uh, record. Uh, 